Hey there, it's Tom here from Bookery. I want to show you how you can get started writing questions for the quiz widget. Now I've created a quiz widget here already and I'm going to go down to the bottom and you can see here we've got the quiz builder. This allows us to add our questions to our quiz. Now we need to add our first question and you can choose from the ones here that are already preset but we're going to start from scratch so we'll use a blank one. There's not much to see here yet because it's all blank so let's edit it and it's in here that you need to enter your question. Now we use a combination of markdown and some bookery commands to create this. You can find all the help you'll need right here. It's got details about all the markdown and the quiz elements as well as LaTeX and some advanced stuff. But let's get started. So the first thing to do is let's have a title. So to get a title we need to use a hash character and then we can just enter our title in. Now if I start writing beneath this what we can do is we can quickly click on preview and we can see that we've got a title and also the beginning of our question. So I'm going to keep writing our question and we can do things like add bold. So you can add bold by putting a couple of stars in front of the text and also behind it. Just like that. Once I've written the first line, I can then go on and just create a new line, as you would normally. Okay, I'm happy with my question now, so I can preview it. And I'm ready to start putting in the answers. So this is going to be a multiple choice question. Now to get a multiple choice answer, what I need to do is open a square bracket like that, put a star into it, and then close it again. If I go back to preview, you just see we've got a checkbox. Brilliant. What we can do is after that is we can put our answer in. So let's put the first one in. And let's give, give another answer. Now this one's going to be our correct answer. So I need to put an X in here to indicate that it is correct. Now that I'm happy with my answers, what I can do is go back to the preview screen and I can try it out. So if I click on the incorrect answer, so this one, you can see here it tells me at the top that it's incorrect. If I click on the correct one, it tells me that it is correct. So we can test it out right there in the preview while we're building it. Now, this doesn't look very good at the moment, so I'm going to spruce it up a little bit. What I want to do is I want to add a line in here, and I also want to make this formula here into some actual map. So let's go to edit it. Now to add a line in, I can just put a couple of new lines in and put some dashes in. This is all explained again right here if you ever need it for reference. Now for the math, we're going to use LaTeX. What we do is we wrap this in a bookery command. So first of all, we open our bracket and we type in math and put a space in. This is now going to use LaTeX to render what's in here. So let's close our square bracket off first. And we need to add the command in to change this from a simple divide to um, an actual divide that's rendered nicely on screen. So we can do this like this. Okay, that should do it. Let's go and preview this. Oh, there we have it. So it's put the formula in nicely formatted just like that. And we've got our line in. Now, let's say this question's a little bit too hard. Let's put a hint in to help people along a little bit. So if we go back to edit, at the bottom here, what I can do is I can put a new square bracket in and press H. This tells Bookery that this is a hint. So in quotes, I need to put in the text that the user will see. And then I also need to put in the hint. Okay, and finally I can also put another command in called button. So just type it in like that and then close it off. This means it will have a button. And you can see this straight away by going into preview. And there it is. I want to hover over it. It gives us the hint. Brilliant. Now this isn't quite complete yet because it still looks a bit boring. So what I want to do is I want to add an image in to make it look more interesting. So if I go back to edit, what you'll see is up here is there's different modes that you can put the quiz into. So let's put it into a vertical split. And you can see here everything's maintained on the left, but we also get a new right column. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put an image in. So I open my brackets and then I'm going to press I to tell that it's an image. Now as soon as I do that, I get a little pop-up to tell me to upload an image. So I can choose one off my desktop. and then upload it to Bookery. 
brilliant. And you can see it's changed that open bracket and deny to something beautiful to book rig. So it now knows which image this is. What, what I might want to do is I might want to set the width of it, so I can set width as 100%. I might want to put some text under this now, so let's put this in italic. There we go, let's see what this looks like. There you go, it's already there up at the top. Um, but maybe I want this text here to be centered. So what, what the generator also allows you to do is put in plain HTML. So let's just put in a div and give it a style to center it. There we go, and when we preview it, my text is now centered. So you can use lots of different methods to put your quiz components into, into the book read quiz, and it tries to be as intelligent as it can about it. If you want to see some more examples of different questions, you can always press the add button and use one of the, the pre-filled ones here, so for example, fill in the blanks. This already gives you a question with the code there ready for you to, to edit it as you please. I hope this has helped you, and have fun creating quizzes.